I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT calculator section. College Board gives us a table of values for linear function, and they ask for the y-intercept of the graph of this function. One way to answer this is to ask your graphing calculator to find the equation of the line. And if you're familiar with a graphing calculator, you should know how to do that. You can also find the equation of the line by hand. First, we'll find the slope which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It's the difference in the y coordinates. Let's take these two. So 14 minus 8 over the difference in the x coordinates taken in the same order. So that would be negative 4 minus negative 2. So negative 4 minus negative 2 is plus 2. And 14 minus 8 is 6. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. 6 over negative 2 is negative 3. Our slope is negative 3, and we know that y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept, the value we're looking for. So y equals m is 3, negative 3x plus b. I can put in any point on the line, and I'll take x equals 8, y equals negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 3 times x, where x is, oops, I swapped them. We need to be careful about that. The y value is 8 equals negative 3 times the x value of negative 2 plus b. 8 equals positive 6 plus b, subtracting 6 from both sides. b equals positive 2. The y-intercept has x-coordinate 0 always, and the y-coordinate for this line is positive 2, so that is choice C. Be careful not to swap the coordinates like I just did. It's also common to flip the order of one of the two carelessly. If I had picked any other two points, the slope still would have been negative 3, and if I had picked a different point to solve for B, the intercept still would have been positive 2. So it doesn't matter which two you choose as long as you choose two distinct points. College Board often asks multiple questions about the equation of a line, so make sure you're good with linear equations, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's, there's always more.